I'm curious, does that mean if I get a permit, I can come up here and just make these trees fucking timber? That'd be sick. I love making trees timber. There's like, there's very little feeling that makes me feel that way. It's like, you cut down the tree, then doo doo. Like, it just fucking hits the ground and you just get pumped up. You just made a tree fucking fall. It's fuck. It's a good feeling. It's a great feeling. I love watching it. I love doing it. I love the sound it makes. Uh, it's addicting, you know? Like, I got out of the tree business this year. I sold all my shit, and I was like, I'm going to be a personal trainer now. But then I miss the adrenaline from cutting down trees. There's something about it. I just don't even know how to describe it from that sound and the money. And it's like, man, it, it just it gives me the goosebumps just thinking about it. It's like... And then, like, the connection between a climber and his groundsman. Like, I'm the groundsman for the new my new climber now. And our connection is like, it's like we're brothers. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're just fucking positive with each other. And we're just all about, like, oh, let's go. Let's go cut this down. We're just like, we're like little kids about cutting down a tree. It's fucking cool. Um, and that's hard to find, man. You know what I'm saying? So... It's kind of interesting because he's got he's on a company he, he works for a company right now full time uh but he's laid off for the winter because the winter around here gets pretty you know it gets slow for the winter season unless we got a big storm or some shit like that but uh yeah he, he's he's laid off so he's like looking for cash jobs and shit like that so i've worked with him a couple times but it's interesting because we got like this bond so it's like man if, if we get busy if, if i get a lot of calls and a lot of quotes and we get busy it's like i don't think he's going nowhere so pray for me guys pray for a lot of leads a lot of phone calls that your boy learns some new advertising tactics because when he the, the ones he knows it's just fucking, it's pretty slow it's pretty slow uh so <laughs> say your prayers to the the tree gods that we get some leads so we can keep this going and uh man i would love to have this guy as the foundation of my business and shit like that he's just a positive positive dude and i see it man i see the vision behind him and it's like i want him to be able to train the next guy the next climber the next climber i know he's gonna train like he's already trained me to do the ropes and shit like that i haven't done too many ropes uh, the last time I ran the tree company, I pretty much just handed it off to two brothers that knew, you know what I mean? They knew everything, and I just did all the leads and all the quotes and shit like that. So it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I see the vision of him teaching others how to do the same thing he does. Because he's like a 20-year vet, you know what I'm saying? Like, he can't be doing this forever. I'd probably pay him to be a trainer and train the new guy, train the next guy, train the next guy. You know what I'm saying? So... Say your prayers to the tree gods that we got, we get more, you know, more leads. Cause uh, I've been getting like a couple a week. You know what I'm saying? Um, once that some, once it gets warmer out here, it's like a couple a day. So, you know, if you got any advertising taxes that you know you want to share with me, fucking let me know. Um, I'm about to start door knocking, but I don't really feel comfortable door knocking too much. It's just I don't like doing it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, worst comes to worst, we're going to get out of here door knocking. Peace.